And my great friend and uh, co-member of the Dudes, Mr. Ian Morris, gonna sing your track. That was Peter Ehrlich with Ian and Ricky Morris. But now we go for when you slipping away. Baby, I've been watching you. Watching everything you do. And I just can't help but feeling someone else. Away. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Temuera Morrison. Fantastic, well done. All right, now, if you are in Auckland, then uh, come on down to the St. James. Tim's going to hang around. We'll have a bit of a party. So if you're in Auckland, get on down here. We're going to go to a break now, but when we return, we'll have Tim Shabbolt and more live music right here on TV2's National Anthem. I'm a great explorer. I've been exploring your mind. I found giant rivers. Greg Johnson packed up and took off to the US two years ago to try his hand at an international level. We caught up with him on a recent trip home. New Zealand is a great place. To, it's a great place to be a writer because you're not battling all that everyday stuff that you do elsewhere. I think there's time to think about stuff. And um, I think the incentives to be a kind of honest writer in New Zealand are, are stronger. You know, there's really no reason to try and follow a fashion here because if you do, it's not going to make you rich or famous. The isolation in, in that sense can help. And, uh, you know, I would stress that I think that it's the thing to do if, if you're getting involved in music is to be true to yourself. I think I've become very immune to the beauty of, of New Zealand and now I can say honestly that I, I'm kind of blown away and I understand when tourists come here and I always used to go, they always used to rave on about how gorgeous and how clean it is. Got to stay on top, got to be the one who can look straight down the Millennium Gun. I unfortunately will be away working in the US when uh, TV2's national anthem uh, goes to air, but I'd just like to wish everyone good luck, have fun, and um, yeah, good luck. Twenty years ago, Greg Johnson and I were in a band together. Feels like a lifetime ago. Hi, New Zealand. My name's Fiona McDonald. Thank you very much, everyone. Surfing on electrons and white horses, bouncing currents, echo courses. You're the way. You're the well of humanity You bombed out London and Dresden to Hiroshima, Nagasaki and Denben food Or for the dollar, the pound, mark or yen and now with the whale, it's happening all again. Oh, well, for the whale. For the whale. Now, if you want to give some precious dot to the Play It Strange Trust to help more young people express their creativity through music. You can give by pressing the donation key on any Bank of New Zealand cash machine. Or you can give online by going to the Play It Strange website, playitstrange.co.nz, and follow the signs through to the secure credit card donation facility. It's time to take a break now, but keep tuned to two for a session with... Honoured Oscar-winning crews and some legendary musicians. Here in Wellington, one of New Zealand's finest and most respected songwriters joins us now. He's been involved in the local scene for over 30 years with bands like The Formula, Rocking Horse and The Waratahs. He is a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, no less. And of course, as the number one New Zealand song of all time, as voted by APRA, the song is nature. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to National Anthem the legendary Mr. Wayne Mason. Thank you. Welcome to the Sunday Roast, Mr. Greg Turner, Mr. Richard Gianni, Mr. Clinton Brown. Thank you. 